Hey everybody, it's Ali Floors again with OrlandoVacation.com where we're gonna give you some more tips and tricks on how to make your Orlando vacation awesome. What's our episode about today? We're gonna be talking about things to do in January. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that subscribe and bell icon so that you get notified when we have new videos. Okay, let's get to it. Now that things are wrapping up from the holiday season, you can expect things to get a little more calm in the city beautiful. It's Orlando, by the way. January is a great time to visit Orlando for either the theme parks or local attractions without your usual crowds from the holiday and peak seasons. During the beginning of the month, you'll see some holiday events still taking place in most of the theme parks, but as the month continues, the crowds die down, so does the weather. Orlando weather typically resides in the 80s, however, January is when Orlando starts having cold fronts. Average temperatures drop to around 70 degrees, and rain is typically few and far between. This makes outdoor events that much more enjoyable. Now that we've covered why January is one of the best months to visit, join us as we dive into a list of fun things to do in Orlando in January. All right, Orlando events in January. One of the first events of the year is brought to you by Walt Disney World, where they host their annual Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend, typically taking place the first weekend after the new year. Guests can register online to be part of this event. Disney offers a wide variety of challenges, ranges from the Walt Disney World 5K, 10K, half marathon, to a full marathon, making it inclusive for all. Once everyone starts putting their Christmas decorations away, Epcot launches their next big event. Epcot's Festival of the Arts runs from the middle of January to the middle of February and has a wide variety of activities and treats that show just how beautiful and tasty art can be. I wonder, I wonder if like the Mona Lisa, if like if you took a bite out of that painting, how tasty. I don't know. I don't know. Another event that takes place in Orlando in January is Universal Orlando Resort's Rock the Universe. Rock the Universe is an annual Christian music festival held by Universal Orlando Resort that includes musical performances by popular Christian artists, as well as access to all the thrilling rides and attractions Universal Orlando Resort offers. Hey, if you have little ones that you're wanting to celebrate with, uh, look no further than SeaWorld. SeaWorld hosts a Sesame Street Kids weekend late January. Here, you and the little ones can enjoy Elmo, Cookie Monster, and all your favorite furry friends in an exclusive party just for kids. Okay, right down the road, Legoland hosts an event of their own too. During late January and extending into February, Legoland Florida Resort hosts Pirate Fest Weekends. Gyar, guests can join Captain Redbeard and help the pirate invasion take over Legoland. This event has exclusive Lego character meet and greets, pirate themed shows, Lego build activities, and more. If you're looking for something new, Drawn to Life by Cirque du Soleil is a brand new performance inspired by Disney animation and located right in the heart of Disney Springs. The show takes place in an indoor venue and follows the story of Julie, who goes on an inspiring quest, touched by her Disney childhood memories. Drawn to Life brings together timeless Disney stories that we've all grown to love with a special touch of Cirque du Soleil performances. Looking for other indoor events in Orlando? Titanic the Artifact Exhibition has everything you need. Collect a boarding pass for a guest that was actually on board the Ship of Dreams and learn what it was like to be on the ship's maiden and only voyage. As you go through the exhibit, you'll discover what happened to your guest the night the iceberg was struck. If you're looking for something a bit more interactive and filling, Titanic the Artifact Exhibition also hosts a Titanic First Class Dinner Gala on Friday and Saturday nights all year long. This includes a captain's cocktail party, a tour of the exhibit, a first class dinner, as well as reenactments of that fateful night on April 14, 1912. Okay, now that we've gone over Orlando events in January, what should you pack? We talked about the weather in Orlando. During January, our weather tends to be colder than most of the year. Here are a few things that you should consider packing during your trip to Orlando. A swimsuit. Yes, January tends to be on the colder side, but we do have occasional days where the temperature is over 80 degrees. Most notably, the majority of hotels have their pools heated, so even if it's a bit chilly, taking a dip can still be an option. Ooh, jackets and coats. 
If you're on the cusp of bringing a jacket or coat, definitely bring a jacket. Nights will be cooler than days and layering will be your best friend. Jackets are easy to put on or take off and store in a locker at any of the theme parks during the day if needed. Clothing. Okay, layers, layers, layers. Bring your t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, jeans, and pants. Bring that jacket to layer on top for the colder days. Depending on the day, you'll need it. Hats and gloves. Most people don't think of Orlando and think of hats and gloves, but they can really help, especially at night when waiting for the fireworks or for the little ones when they get a bit too cold. Bringing a light pair of gloves or hat can help keep you warm. Shoes. Always comfortable shoes, especially when visiting the theme parks. We suggest tennis shoes for long-term comfort. If you're planning on wearing new shoes, don't. But if you do, make sure to wear them before your trip to avoid getting blisters. Poncho and umbrellas, yeah. While rain isn't always expected in January as compared to summertime, it is important to bring a poncho or small umbrella just in case. We recommend picking up a poncho from a store prior to your trip as the price can jump dramatically once you're at the theme parks. Blankets. While most skip the thought of bringing a blanket, they can be very comfortable while waiting for fireworks at the parks, especially during January when the nights get cold. Sun protection. Even during the cold months, we still recommend having sunscreen to help protect your skin. Just because it's cold doesn't mean the sun's taking a vacation. It's still out there working hard. This helps avoid having any sunburns during your trip to Orlando. If you're looking for more tips and tricks for your next Orlando vacation or need help planning, be sure to check out our website at orlandovacation.com where we offer the best discounted prices and have a variety of blogs to help you make the most out of your Orlando vacation. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in Orlando. Bye-bye, everybody.